We've traveled for 17 hours or so. It seems well, like it's a very contemporary city. Very clean. That's a great building over there. We've been working on it for, I think, about six months, maybe a little longer. They approached us uh, because uh, we normally work with clothing in our artwork and they thought that we would be the right guys for the job. We were really quite excited about it because it was stepping a little out of our comfort zone. Our eyes are, um, are they're our vehicle for creativity. I mean, it's where we draw inspiration from for the most part. When I get tested back in Miami, it says, read this, read that. I mean, here there are little lights and it's like playing a video game with your brain. Originally, I was very skeptical about sitting through an entire sports event because I've never been to one um, ever. I have to say it was a pretty wonderful experience. Our intent with our artwork is to get people to uh, have their own personal perspectives on what we present. Everyone could have a connection to clothing, obviously, because we all have to wear it. Interaction with the public is something we've never really done with any of the sculptural work we've done, so that's very exciting to us. In the art world, you don't really see it. You put your product out there, and you might not hear anything about it for years or so. With this, it's just the complete opposite. You see the hype build as people see you creating the piece. It looks interesting. I'm not sure what's going on there. It looks really good with all the tops. I don't really know. I think they're riding a football. Is it a ball? A football? We've been following these Cuban artists online for a few years and we just thought their technique and, uh, and style of art was kind of perfect on actually building the structure. We wanted to make something that was sort of visually really engaging but also was uh, you could get involved with and actually touch and feel and been really impressed at how many people are actually getting involved in playing with the skill testers and looking at the balls and stuff. But more than anything, it kind of reinforces and strengthens the association between OPSM and AFL. I've had several people come up to me while we were working and say some really lovely comments. I think they're impressed. Once they find out that uh, there's a prize involved with every t-shirt, I think they'll like it even more. The line is huge. It's the best feeling in the world. It's actually the most exciting part of it. Yeah, it is the most exciting part. I mean, this is what it was made for. It'll be really interesting to see how people actually uh, deconstruct it and where they go to grab. I'm just going to feel our way until, <laughs> feel, until it feels right. I reckon the black t-shirts the go. Hopefully we can get a Swans membership for next season. In the eye, just up there, that's the one. It looks pretty. I don't kind of want to ruin it. <laughs> Hope someone's got a photo. It's uh, kind of interesting to see some people really struggle with one when there's uh, another one right next to it that they can just pull right out. I won the tickets! Are you rolling? I sure am. Oh! <laughs> we have a running joke now that never have we had such a large audience see one of our shows. We should hide prizes in our work. Yeah, I think we need to start. I think we'd have a much better I think reception. we might have a new gimmick. <laughs>